Well, DIY AI is actually an act of veterinary surgery and it's covered by the Veterinary Surgeons Act. So AI training is very important in that it is a legal requirement to do an approved course. Anyone AI in cows without having done an approved course is actually breaking the law. So having a, a well-structured course that fits with DEFRA syllabus is an essential part of any farm skills linked DIY AI training. It's also very important that inseminating cows is viewed with regard to the business performing well but also cow welfare. AI is quite an invasive procedure and it needs supervised training with continuous veterinary supervision to make sure that everything is carried out appropriately during the training. It's only a small amount of time before we find that farmers become extremely good at AI but refresher courses are still helpful to make sure that no one's getting into bad habits and that their success rates aren't falling off compared to where they were before. We're very sure that the increased focus on AI has a benefit on how well the herd performs with fertility work. It provides a real interest in the future of the herd and it's such an important part of a dairy or a beef herd's overall finances that we want to encourage AI training done in the right way as much as possible. One of the other benefits of AI that's often overlooked is actually in disease control. High herd health opportunities are there by not needing to buy balls in. Live animal purchases are one of the biggest threats to disease entering a herd and frozen semen that's produced in very regulated, extremely well run studs provides an opportunity to bring new genetics into a herd without the threat of bringing disease in. Purchase balls have got an important role to play, and particularly from tested herds that are of high health status. But AI will provide an opportunity for very high quality genetics that can come from all around the world with the minimal threat to disease for that herd itself. So both AI as well as embryo transfer have got roles for bringing in high health genetics with a minimum threat to that herd itself.